Ratio. Um, can't remember the date now. Anyway, it's Saturday. I'm up the stores, as you can tell. I'm not actually going to do any work. So I'm playing with my car seats. I've been just been uh, fillerating all the cracks and stuff, or the worst of it anyway, um, with a with a proper leather filler. Um, there's not a great deal to do actually on the back seats. There's a few dinks and dents and stuff that should come out over time. Um, it's probably only where I've had stuff sat against it when I emptied the back of the car into the back seat. Uh, I've cleaned them off. I've got some uh, ISO Pro Panel, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, but I've been using this Tough Stuff. Um, tough Stuff is really good. I saw it on a YouTube video. Um, chap recommended it. I watched him clean the seats up and they cleaned up a tray. Um, it's taken a lot of the yellowness out of it. I think these seats have been cleaned probably numerous times before because this is some um, suede leather and um, it's very sort of yellowish around the outside. I mean, okay, it's a 20 year old car. What do you expect? Um, I don't expect it to look like brilliant all in one go, but um, it would be nice. I think the filler is probably a lot paler than I should have applied. I probably should have mixed in a bit of black and a bit of yellow um, because this this is well it's slightly yellowish leather um, but on the whole it should be light gray and looking at the looking at the color of this you won't really be able to tell because I've got the uh, I've got the flash switched on <coughs> <laughs> but when I look at that against the colour of the seat, it looks almost the same colour. So if you look at the mid colours here against the original, it ain't far out. I just think the filler might be a bit lighter. Um, but I don't think it will hurt. Um, and I didn't even realise, you know, once you clean the seats up, you can add the filler. Um, and then you can give it a very, very light sandpapering. So, where did that bit of sandpaper go that I had just now? So I only did these a few minutes ago. So as you see, big patches around here. And there's a bit of a gentle rub. This is only 240 grit, I think. Um, and it takes off, take off the worst of it, I suppose. And then we can apply, and we can apply the old uh, jolly old colour. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'll give this here a quick go. To get, uh, let's put this down a minute, just so that I can get the bloody lid off. Right. So I've got the lid off of there, and I just need to do a few of the the worst cracks. And if you look closer at them, if we can focus, where I've cleaned them, obviously they fill with a bit of dirt and they've started to crack. And what this does, if you get some on the knife, is just gently plunk it in and just 